stupidest thing I ever heard. I loved my brother. I'm no longer sure you even know the meaning of the word love. I think you only care for your own ambition. My ambition? While your brother Julian was alive, you had no hope for participation in the family. But since his death, you've become more and more involved in our business affairs, including your obsession with Duke Lavery. Yes, I'm obsessed with Duke Lavery. He seduced me, remember? I want him to be responsible for my child, your grandchild. And I need your help, Father. I need you to call him. I need you to protect me and my baby. I need you to protect your grandchild. I need you to make him do the honorable thing. How dare you talk about honor? You who would have him for your husband so that you may exercise his power. Or have him dead so that no one stands in your way to that power. I only want what is best for my baby. You're lying. You would use me as your instrument to murder your child's father. As God is my witness, Olivia. If I should ever find out you use the Carter family to murder your brother, I swear to you on your mother's grave, I will see you dead. Checking out of our luxury hotel, I see. Yes. Room service was great and the food's lousy. Oh, the food's not so bad. Oh, uh, everything's all right with you and the baby? Yes, everything's fine. You know, I have a wonderful doctor. The baby's fine. Husband. Mm. And Robin's taking it okay? She's very excited. And I, I would like to get home to see her now. Well, you go ahead. I'm going to check out as well. I'm going to grab a late lunch. Are you having some hospital food? Hello, everybody. Excuse me, hope I didn't interrupt anything. No. Um, can I see you, my husband, for just a second? Oh, yes, yes. please. We're just going out to the car. Bye-bye. <laughs> see you later. Yeah. I'll walk with you. Bye-bye. Okay, Bye-bye. <laughs> try. If you really believe what you're saying, go ahead and kill me. I don't want to live if you think I could have had anything to do with Julian's murder. He's my family. He was also in your way. I miss him. I loved him as much as you do. Yeah? Then maybe you could explain to me, so that I can believe it, why you were meeting with the Carter family shortly before Julian was murdered. I was... Don't him. try to deny it! You were seen, you were seen! By those who do not lie to me. Who would have told you something like that? Just answer me. Why were you meeting with the Carters? It was her, wasn't it? You turned on me after you went to see your mistress. Oh, God, what kind of a father are you? You would threaten to murder your daughter on the word of your whore. You watch your mouth. <gasps> it was Demetra. She's the one that filled your head with all these lies about you me. You leave Demetra out of this. I can't leave her out of it. How could you possibly turn your back on me after on that woman's word? For the last time, tell me, Olivia, did you cause Julian's death? No, I didn't. If you're going to kill me, I beg you to do it now. Not slowly this way, ripping my heart to pieces. You and Julian were all I had left after Mama died. Please don't turn your back on me, Daddy. No one of carrying your grandchild. You're lying! How many lives are you going to destroy to get what you want? I'm not... I'm not lying to you. I'm telling you the truth, Daddy. You've got to believe me. You've got to go to Duke and talk to him and make everything all right. Yes, I will go to Duke. And I will tell him what I know. And afterwards... Oh, I missed you. you. Yeah. Well, Duke must have packed for this trip. Why's that? Well, you know how he always complains that you need two suitcases. <laughs> oh, I must have lost one. Oh, those darn airports always losing suitcases. <laughs> hey, kiddo, why don't you tell Mom and Duke about your visit with your papa? Oh, it was wonderful. I got to go over to Cheryl's. And she even let me bring my lovebirds. Really? Yeah, and Daddy loves them. Aww. Thinks they're great. And they sang a lot, too, so I guess they had a good time. <laughs> Listen, sweetheart, your mommy's a long journey. She should maybe go take a nap. Oh, I'm not so tired, but maybe the baby needs a nap. <laughs> mm. Have a good night. 
I will. <laughs> so come on, and why do you tell me about all your adventures? Well, it was great. Yeah? We were trying to figure out names for my bird. Did you come up with anything? No, not really. But Cheryl helped me clean their cage, so it's so Ill, icky to do. <laughs> oh, yeah, and this lady came over. She said she's a friend of yours. Who was that? I don't know who she was, but... She was so pretty. Her hair was really great. Hmm. Did she have a name? Yeah. Her name was Olivia. Yeah, that's right. And she told me something about my lovebirds. What was that? Well, she said that I had to take very, very, very good care of them. And that if the daddy bird was taken away or something, then the mommy bird would die, too. That's sad. That's yeah. Oh, Rad. Little Mama fell right asleep. Now, how's this new Papa? You know, I just remembered an errand I've got to take care of. Hey, why don't you take Robin to the park and keep her out of Anna's way so Anna can get an errand? Hey, Mommy, Yeah? Stop. I'm going to take care of my errand, and then okay. I'll probably be home in time for supper. Okay. Bye. 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 See you later. Port Charles Hotel. Yeah, good. Has Olivia St. John checked out, please? Hurry! I need my shoes! I'm trying to find the coat! The coat! I'm looking at the coat! Oh. I can't believe that woman. She knows about your heart, and she fills your head with all these lies. And that lies! I see your guilt in your eyes, in your words. It's Hurry, my pills! It's my word. It's my word against the hatred. I'll find the proof. When I tell Duke, he'll find it. He loved Julian as I did. Ah, uh, as you should have done. Oh, I can't find those damn pills. Oh, must have pills. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, listen. You gotta believe me. You gotta believe me that I didn't have anything to do with Julian's death. Please tell me that you'll believe me. He was my family. Lies. All lies. Get my pills. Daddy, I beg you. Please, tell me that you will help me and not those who are trying to hurt me. I will see justice for my son. I couldn't find him. You must have left him in New York. Doctor, call doctor. The stone is broken. You must have broken it when you ranked it away from me before. Yes, someone. Quickly. I'll go down to the lobby and get some help. Hurry, hurry. does for you, honey? Get to sleep in the middle of the day. You should try it sometimes, sweetheart. Oh. Honey, I'm sorry. We didn't mean to disturb you. Let me tell you, let me get you back to bed. I'll take this Irishman out of here. Oh, no, no, no. no. I, I was just lying down. I wasn't asleep. They all went out so I could sleep, and now I can't. Yeah, but you just go to the hospital. I think you might need a little rest, don't you? Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. It was just a precaution, really. I, I'd like some company. Not for long, though. We have a case, and I have to leave tonight. Anybody I know I'm listening? Ah, uh, this one's rather sensitive. I left all the particulars in the file, and I'll uh, call you as soon as I get settled. At the hotel. You did that on purpose. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, I did. <laughs> Look, I have errands to run before that plane takes off. I want you to take care of yourself and the baby and mm -hmm. let Felicia run the office, huh? Eh? Oh, I'm not mm -hmm. that fragile. I'm fine, really. Hey! Hey! Hey, 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 Hi, how hey, are you? man, we were watching the birds at the park, and suddenly she had to come back to check her lovebirds. Uh -uh. Then she had to make sure that she was giving them good extra care. Uh -huh. <laughs> I thought Duke was with you. No, he said he had to run an errand. I would love to see your lovebirds. I heard all about them from Robert. Would you show them? Of to course. Me? Oh, good. Of course she will. Yeah. Oh, she talks <laughs> have about you or Robert them. found out who sent those birds? Anyway? No, no, we haven't. And frankly, some of the theories Robert comes up with are kind of unnerving. 
Babe. I don't want to talk about it. Uh, come on, let's not be too hard on him, huh? I know he acts like a mother hen a lot of the times, but that's because he cares for you and Robin so much. I mean, the man worries. There's no reason to worry. My life's great. 